Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Snapchat, you will have seen that I did a little bit of a haul in one of my Snap Stories. And in the haul, I had picked up the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. This is a pretty new foundation that Milani released and there is a lot of hype and anticipation for this foundation. So I had to go pick it up and try it out and test it out for you guys. I've worn this foundation for about six days now which is a pretty good amount of time to test out a new foundation so i'm going to give you guys all the details all the information so if you're interested in hearing what i think about this foundation how it applies the longevity the coverage and all that good stuff then please just keep on watching let's just get started because i look extra scary today without foundation on this little guy popped up when i was at work yesterday night it literally just popped up out of nowhere it's gonna be kind of perfect to show you what the coverage is like with this foundation so without further ado let's throw some makeup on my face to make this look human again so my shade is 01 creamy vanilla and i believe this is the lightest shade that they offer usually i just do one pump for my entire face so that is what i'm going to be doing i'm gonna pump out a full pump and you can just see how thick in consistency this foundation is. It's not running. So I'm just going to cover this side of my face to show you the comparison between bare skin and skin with this foundation on top. I'm just going to take this on a foundation brush and start applying it to my face. So I'm going to show you how well this covers up this little awesome red sit I have going on my face today. And you can just see how well that covers up that little red pimple that I had there. So this foundation is definitely medium to full coverage. And I'll show you how well it builds in just a little bit. So this is my skin with one layer of this foundation on. I'm going to build up on this pimple area just to show you how buildable this um, coverage is and what it looks like. So it covers up the redness of the pimple really nicely and really flawlessly. Of course, the dimensional part of this pimple is still going to be peeking through because it's just one of those kind of zits. Um, but the redness and the discoloration has really been reduced and it still looks really flawless and natural. Um, it doesn't look too cakey. I actually built two layers on top of this stubborn little zit that I have and it still looks really natural. So this is my skin without the foundation and my skin with the foundation. I think that the coverage is absolutely beautiful. It takes away a lot of my redness and um, hyperpigmentation on my face, but it still looks really natural and flawless. And even my under eye circles has actually been lightened up a little bit. I didn't put any concealer on yet, so just the difference between my dark circles is pretty noticeable. And I actually still have a lot of product left, um, even though I use multiple layers of it on this side of my face. I still have enough to cover up this side, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to apply the foundation to this side of my face to even it all out, and I will be right back. This foundation is kind of magical to me because it's so full coverage and looks so flawless, but somehow my natural skin is still peeking through. Oftentimes full coverage foundations can look really mask-like and fake and very plastic on the skin. This one does an amazing job at looking really really natural and really close to your skin texture but it still provides you with one of the best coverage I have seen in a long time when it comes to drugstore foundations. This would definitely rival my Makeup Forever HD foundation or even my A Cosmetic CC Cream which has really great coverage but still looks natural on the skin. This is rivaling higher end brands and I absolutely love the price tag that's on it. It's definitely not weightless in any way. I can feel like I'm wearing a little bit of foundation on but not really thick foundation just like a tinted BB cream or something like that but it's lightweight, it feels really natural and flexible. I can make expressions on my face and it not crease or get in my wrinkles or fine lines. So I love the flexibility of this foundation and it's already starting to set. There's a little bit of tackiness left, but if I sit here for another five minutes or just do a light dusting of powder off my face, it should take that tackiness away and really lock in this foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up with the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to finish up with this review. I am actually on the Milani website and I'm just gonna read to you guys what the claims are to this foundation and how they would describe their own product. So let's get the pros and cons list up. 
So it says that it combats under eye circles, redness, and other skin imperfections with this full coverage water resistant foundation plus concealer in one. So the claim of being full coverage and covering your dark circles, redness, and other skin imperfections, I would completely agree with. You guys saw how well it covered up that um, pimple I had over here at the beginning of this video. It's definitely full coverage. It's buildable, but I really would work in light layers as opposed to just lapping it on immediately. You're gonna get the same coverage um, either way, but if you work in light layers and just slowly build it up, you'll find that you need less foundation so it looks more natural and less cakey. So it is definitely full coverage. It gives flawless, flawless coverage. I mean, your skin just looks amazing at the end of your foundation routine. As for the water resistant claim, I haven't had the chance to test that claim out yet. I haven't been out in the rain with this foundation or the pool or the beach yet, so I can't really say much about that. A no mess, though drip pump dispenses just the right amount of fluid needed to achieve a flawless look and works around the clock to keep skin looking naturally perfect. Completely agree with that whole entire sentence. I would have to say that the pump for this Milani foundation is better than most pumps that I own for higher end brands foundations. You guys know that I love my NARS Sheer Glow foundation, it's one of my holy grail foundation, but sometimes that pump really pisses me off because it can kind of squirt out at you, it's not very consistent, but this you get a nice consistent pump every time you use it and it gives you just the right amount to cover up your whole face so you don't waste any product and I just really really love the pump. As for longevity of this foundation, this is probably the most long-lasting drugstore brand foundations I have tried in a very very long time. The last one that I've tried that lasted this long was the Color Stay Whipped foundation from Revlon. Love that foundation but I could never find a color match. This drugstore foundation is amazing it lasts so long if you follow me on snapchat you've seen that i wore this to one of my shifts the other day i work 12 hour nights so really a total of 14 hours wear and when i took off my makeup in the morning there was still foundation on my face my blush faded bronzer was still there which is quite impressive um, but the foundation still covered up my redness. I think my only problematic areas were just around my nose because I'm just constantly scratching my nose so the sides of my nose always gets red and foundation wears off right there the most and the quickest. Um, also my under eyes, it just wore off a little bit. I just looked a little bit more tired but that's just because I worked 12 hours. But the rest of my face still looked really flawless. It didn't look fresh or like I just applied foundation but for 14 hours wear, I think that's pretty impressive that I still have foundation on at the end of the shift. It also says that this is an oil-free formula and it is lightweight. The lightweight claim is completely true. It's not a weightless foundation. I definitely feel it sitting on my skin, but it's not an uncomfortable feeling. It kind of just feels like you're wearing a moisturizer or a tinted BB cream. It just feels like you have something sitting on your face so it's not the lightest foundation I've worn but for the coverage that it gives you I wouldn't really expect anything else you're bound to feel it sitting on your skin but it is lightweight it's not uncomfortable you don't feel like heavy or cakey it doesn't look heavy or cakey it just feels really comfortable really flexible you can make expressions without it settling into your fine lines the finish that you're gonna get from this foundation is almost a matte to natural skin looking finish so it's not completely one-dimensional you're not getting a flat matte foundation finish it's still pretty matte so you're not getting a glow or anything I really love the finish of this foundation because it allows my natural skin texture and skin kind of glow to peek underneath of it while still keeping me really matte and really oil free throughout the day. I don't have a problem with this um, making my t-zone any oilier than it normally is. At work I don't even touch up and my nose and my t-zone area is completely fine. So this foundation is literally one of the best foundations I've tried in a very very long time and I love that it's from the drugstore. Like I mentioned earlier in the video I have been wearing this foundation for about a week and it has not broken me out. This pimple that we had to deal with was actually just spur of the moment dehydrated from work kind of a thing. It wasn't from this foundation because I didn't break out anywhere else. Um, so it's really great for sensitive skin. You guys know that I have really sensitive skin to different foundation formulations and just the ingredients in it. It breaks out immediately within the first hour or two if I'm trying out a different foundation. If my skin doesn't like it, it'll tell me immediately. So I've been wearing it for about a week and I haven't had any breakouts or skin irritations or anything like that. So it's great for sensitive skin. So now that we know a little bit more about this foundation, let me give you the details on where you can buy it and stuff. 
So you can obviously purchase this on the Milani website or any site or store that carries Milani products. The Milani website sells it for $9.99. Now, it's a little bit tricky depending on where you buy it. The Milani website actually has 14 different shades, which is pretty impressive for a foundation that's just being released. Sometimes they're just six to eight shades that releases um, with the foundation when it's just newly released and then they'll add more colors on. But this right off the bat is 14 shades, but I don't think you can find all 14 shades at a regular store. I purchased my foundation at a Walmart and there was literally only six shades there. It went from 01 to 06, so I thought that was it. But on the Milani website, there's actually 14 different shades. Now, what's weird about this is that I have mine in 01 Creamy Vanilla and it matches my skin tone pretty perfectly. If anything, it's probably half a shade too light for me, but after my face product sits on top of it, it kind of blends in with my natural skin. If 01 is the lightest shade and it fits someone who is medium complected, there is no hope for anyone that is paler than me. So anyone who has a paler or lighter or fair skin complexion, there really is no match for you. You really can't blend or mix any two shades together to get your perfect match. So I thought that was kind of weird, but they do have a big range of um, medium skin tones and then it gets to one darker shade. So the foundation color range to this is really odd. It's, I don't know, it just does not make sense to me to have the lightest shade to be a medium color but it just really boggles me that they would make their foundation line like that. So overall, I am completely in love with this foundation. I haven't been this excited about a foundation since I found the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, which you guys know that I am just loving, loving, loving. This is just such an amazing foundation, and I'm so glad that we can get it at a drugstore price. You're getting higher-end brand quality in this little bottle for the best drugstore price ever. Check it out if you haven't. I really, really love it and I would highly suggest it to you all. I think that is all I have to say about this foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If there is any other foundations that is just being newly released and you are curious about it or you want me to review for you, let me know down in the comments section below. But yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.